Hello there, everyone. So today I thought to do a video on Peppermint. Uh, first off, Peppermint is a very light distribution. It's they call it the hybrid system. Yes, the hybrid, basically um, running all these nicey featured web apps on a distribution, which is very nice for Peppermint. All in all, it's a bit like Ubuntu with a bit of web apps, basically like you would Ubuntu with web apps. Um, so yeah, you know, the main key feature in Peppermint is um, just, you know, web apps and being a very light distribution. But I took that light distribution and I made it a little bit uh, of my own heavy duties. First thing is that I've installed da -da -da, compares, meaning I get the 3D dimension cube, I get emerald, installed, and so forth. Um, we are going to show you how to get Compares installed in Peppermint 3 and Compares, uh, Compares, well, Peppermint 3, no, you've already installed Peppermint, right, we're going to get Compares installed, sorry, on Peppermint 3 and we're going to get Emerald installed on Peppermint 3. Now, there is no PPA for Emerald, so we have to install Emerald manually, meaning we have to go through the terminal and blah 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 blah. Compares is quite straightforward. First off, we go into file. Well, first off, we don't go to file. Actually, we actually go to <coughs> uh, Synaptic Package Manager. My mistake. Type in our little password. I've done this for ages though because I've been kind of busy lately. Um, from all the work and so forth. Next up is typing compares. Search for compares. Install them. And that's it. Install compares. Compares config settings manager. Anything you see is compares. Gnome compares. Compares plugins. Lib. Yeah, you, know, you get that. Compares plugins main default. Compares config backend.com. Compares core. Compares plugins main. Compares plugin default. Bolt. Anything that's compares, the only thing you don't install is Fusion Icon. Unless you want the menu actually have the selection menu to do Fusion Icon, it's up to you. You can install Fusion Icon, uh, we'll show you a way to install a Fusion Icon, but if you're interested in, if you want Fusion Icon installed, you can. Or you could just install the engine and compares, it's up to you. Really, really up to you. Just install anything compares. If it's not like, if it's not compares y, Reading this description, if it's say like Screenlet, don't install it. If it's SimDoc, don't install it. These are just docs. If you're interested in the doc, then fine. That's actually widgets, if you want to know. Um, PDF document viewer with 3D effects. Ooh, that's quite cool. But I'm not interested in that. Uh, light terminal emulator. I'm not interested. And so forth. If you see any of these extra add ons, you can install them if you want. Now these, this is a dock and this is a dock as well. Coral dock is more for compares and so forth. And sim dock is for uh, I don't know. I've never used sim dock actually. Uh, screenlets. Um, some of these are programs I've never actually used. So just give me a moment or two to realize what they are. Uh, AWN uh, AWN is an actual add-on to a dock. So if you see AWN applet skinny switcher, it's um, it's like an add-on to a dock. It's an add-on to a dock. And don't install the devs because you don't need to install the devs. Point is, install Compares, Fusion Icon if you want, Fusion Icon if you don't want it, it's up to you. Uh, so forth. Okay, when we've installed that, uh, get off my jibber jabber. Um, jibber jabber fool. So accessories. We go to File Manager. You can see this file manager here. Look at this, right? We go and get rid of Home and Joseph. What's my name? Don't wear it out. ETC, and then we want X slash XDG. Right. As well, if you're thinking, oh, it should do the same way for Ubuntu, Ubuntu has a different way of how it works. Don't get me. Don't go, oh no, because it's exactly the same. It's not. Um, if you want to change the settings manager in Ubuntu, you need to go into the home directory and set it up from there. In Peppermint, it's in the etc directory. 
is different to Lubuntu. So don't get mixed up, don't get cocked up with Lubuntu, okay? Um, LX Session, Peppermint, Auto Start, Text Editor. Right then. Usually, you would go into Tool, go into Root, Current Root, type in your password, e, right? And usually, you would have gone and actually right clicked and gone to Text Editor. But I don't want to do that because there's no point in me changing it. But um, what I installed was Compares Emerald. I don't know why, but when I put Compares and Emerald by default, I don't know why I've added them both anyway. I tried to add them both to see if it actually worked because if I don't add them both for some reason, they don't work. Might work for you, might not. Lubuntu is a better, better um, you could say a uh, wiggy woggy. Um, uh, seesaw, you know, when it is balanced, it's, it's balanced as a seesaw, Lubuntu is, or LXTE, it's very balanced as a seesaw. Yeah. Um, stable, it's stable ish, but uh, you'll get your slowness and your fastness and your mixed up with open box and blah 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 blah. blah. But anyway, um, you see this? Well, I Usually, if it doesn't work, put in compares, if compares and emerald don't work, then just get rid of just if, if, if it doesn't work from there just put space dash dash replace it might work from there as well it depends so just check from both I don't know why it doesn't work just by putting compass I mean it does sometimes but now I've decided to stuff it we'll just go for replace I'll just put two just to make sure and it, it works nicely anyway so end of day it works that's the whole point uh, but yeah that's it, that makes it start up from automatically compares. Now, don't type Emerald in yet until you've installed Emerald. I ain't showed you how to install Emerald yet, so don't go, don't hold your horses for a minute. Yeah? Or, you know, you might have an error for your system and your system breaks down and you've got no top bar, you know? Don't install, don't type Emerald. Please do not install type Emerald until we've showed you how to install Emerald yet. So go back to you can go back to it later. First thing, when you've installed com compares, just press that button there to shut down, and then just log out, log back in. You don't need to reboot. Just log out, log back in. Bang, your compares is working. Like I said, don't input Emerald yet until I've showed you how to install Emerald. Okay, so installing Emerald is a bit difficult and hard to understand. Now I'm going to look in my bash because I actually installed it and I can't remember how it goes. So give me a sec. Okay, so first off, we need to put in sudo app get install build essentials git auto config lib tool uh, lib which 1.0 slash client slash dev lib which slash dev intel tool and lib lib decoration zero slash dev. Uh, I'll put this all in the description. Um, then the next one would be um, installing the Compass. You probably would have installed them anyway. Make sure you've got Compass Fusion Plugin Extra, Compass Fusion Plugin Main, and Compass Config Settings Manager. They, those, those software are their main attraction. Always, always pick those pieces of software if you're installing Compass. Next thing, we need to download the thing. Now, we're going to copy this for you as well in the description so you don't have to read it all and stop the video. And We're just showing you how to do it. So make sure you download this. Okay, it'll be in the temp folder because if it's in the main directory, it will not, it will not install. Always put it in the temp folder. This is the reason why it's in the temp folder because automatically it will go in the temp folder and install it in the temp folder. Don't install it in the home directory. It will not work. I repeat, it will not work. Okay? It will fail install, so always install it in the temp folder. Okay, so when you've done that, go back down. I'm going down. Uh, you want to extract the file in the temp file. You'll end up into the emerald folder. After, after the temp, so temp, emerald, so forth. Right, you've installed them. Okay, so you want auto gen.sh. It'll be in the list, and it will auto 
gen.sh. That's it. Then you want to make clean. Make disk clean. Don't know why it's two, but yeah, it's important. Then dot slash config space dash dash prefix equals slash user. Always install it that way. Make, then sudo make install, and then emerald installed. Then you can go back into your folder and do the thing I've shown you. Go to the file as normal and um, basically do that thing I told you by when you're doing it in compares. Make sure you add the at emerald and at emerald space dash dash replace because when I put it in the config manager it did not work by default. I am not sure why I had that problem before, but if you are amazing master genius who's got brains more brains than Jesus, then I would say to you, you are amazing. If you can get Emerald without typing Emerald in the XDA, well, the LX session in the XDA folder, XDG folder, my mistake, I would give you a gold sticker. I literally would give you a gold stick, an invisible gold sticker. Now that is a price, priceless thing you can never owe. <laughs> a gold sticker. And do you know what shape it is? A star gold sticker. You should be proud. Call yourself Jesus while you're at it. Yeah. So, that's it. Installed Emerald now. The fun part about, um, Compass and Emerald features. Now your peppermint system is not just peppermint anymore, it's the ultra peppermint, meaning I call it the ulti peppermint. Why do I call it the ultra peppermint? The features floods to you like like you've just walked into some sort of prison cell. I, I can't think of it at that time. My imagination just went. Um, so so features we we end up with is is uh, some nice you can install some nice themes. I would recommend you to go to Compass Look. So to put, type into Google search to install some themes. I'm going to Compass. Oh god damn it. I really like a slow computer, but not today. Yeah, but Compass Look. For some reason my computer likes Ah yes. Compass Look. Always type that in. And then you'll see it's got compass slash themes dot org. You could go to that website if you want to, but if if you can't be asked to find the search engine you want to search in Google, just put compass look. Type in the compass community, which gives you a load of themes and selections of all these lovely ghibli shit themes. If it loads today, um, I'm trying to think about upgrading my internet package yet. Anyway, you've got wonderful themes you could choose from. A good selection download them and then when you've downloaded them go to your uh, emerald manager or emerald theme selector or theme manager emerald theme manager click on emerald theme manager and you can install emeralds from here import and install file themes oh yeah and if you if if some people have problems getting emerald sorted out um, I need to. I, forgot, I almost forgot a couple of things before I actually finish this video. So give me a sec. First off, you want to boot up Emerald. Quite simple. Just put Emerald space dash dash replace space the and icon. Yes, the and icon. I call it the and icon. You might call it somewhere else. I call it the and icon. Okay. Um, and then usually it will boost up. You know, Emerald. And then do the stuff and if if that still doesn't work and you don't have any errors and so forth go into system tools no it's for preferences compass config manager and as well um usually like i said put it into the system because i don't know why it doesn't boot up from here by default but but just put emerald in there anyway to make sure anyway i did um, but I messed. I did a little bit of tweaking myself, and I had a bit of fun with it. And you know, Linux is just one of those things you just do. You play, you enjoy, and you go, "Ha ha! I've got a better system. Ubuntu just sucks. We've got a better system than you." I'm using some OS that some developer made because he's sad. Yes. Okay. 
I've gone too far. Okay. Right, so the end of the day is you can change themes, nice those nice effects, and so forth. Okay, and my favourite theme is this one. I like the stars. Do you like the stars? Reminds me that I was I was drunk one night and I would seen these stars around my head that like, cartoon effect. But it's this type of my cursor. <laughs> anyway. Thanks to your time. I really would like to chit chat, but I can't. Uh bye bye.